What is going on guys? So here's a really quick video about my homemade 4Q firing system. A lot of you wanted more information about it, so let me show you exactly what it does and then we'll take it apart and see what's inside. First let me show you what it actually does. This is the on off switch. When the safety cover is pushed up and the switch is flicked, this little light flashes. These blue LEDs indicate if there's a good continuity between the firing system and the electric match. If there's no continuity, of course, the LED just stays off. It's still on safe mode though, so nothing happens if I hit these push buttons. This switch arms the system, which means that now, if I push these buttons... Kaboom. Here's the schematic I came up with for this particular system. As you can see, it's powered up by two 9 volt batteries hooked up in series, which of course gives us 18 volts DC. When the on-off switch is flicked, the current powers up a simple blinking LED circuit that indicates that the system is on. And that's all the circuit does. Now, this is how the firing system indicates continuity. If there's an electric match hooked up to, let's say, Q number 1, it would close the circuit. The resistor limits the current to 1 milliamp, and the current can then flow through the blue LED and through, believe it or not, the electric match. Now we know that the recommended current to ignite an electric match is about 1 amp at 2 volts, so 1 milliamp is nowhere near enough to ignite the match. When the safety switch is flicked, another LED indicates that the system is armed. When the push button is hit, 18 volts can pass straight through the match, which of course instantly ignites it. To get the current from the system into the match, we're going to need some sort of cable. I always use Ethernet cables, simply because they're fairly cheap. In these cables there are 8 individual single strand wires and a ground cable, which means it would work great even for 8Q firing systems. Now keep in mind that the longer the cable is, the higher the voltage to begin with needs to be. In general, you lose 1 volt every 30 feet of cable this gauge. Again, a typical electric match needs at least 2 volts to ignite, so if your cable's let's say 300 feet long, you would need at least 12 volts DC to set it off. To hook up the electric matches as quickly as possible, I used an 8-pin speaker push terminal since these work great for pyrotechnics. I mounted it on an aluminium board. To easily plug and unplug everything for easy transportation, I used DB9 connectors. The connector board can also be directly plugged into the system if, for instance, I decide to use regular pyrotechnic wire. Now let's take it apart! This is just a cheap electrical project box I got off eBay by the way. As you can see, here are the two 9 volt batteries, here's the LED flicking circuit, and of course the resistors, the LEDs, the push buttons, and the switches I was talking about in the schematic. And that's all there is to this firing system. The simpler the better. Thanks for watching! Again, this wasn't a tutorial, it was just a quick video for those of you who wanted to know more about the firing system I use in most of my videos. Oh, and by the way, if there's anything else you'd like to see me do, or if you have suggestions for future videos, just let me know in the comment section. And as usual, give that like button a click and subscribe! I'll see you guys next time.